Kinder Frogs and their families came to play with TCU students in the Blue Auditorium during the fourth annual Froggy Games. Scooters, balls, hula hoops, bean bags, rainbow parachutes, and live music were very popular with the children. And they really enjoy it. They have fun with all the volunteers that come out and play with them, and we get a small little break from having to watch them all the time. <laughs> Can't wait till that their battery runs dry so we can all take a nap. Savannah joined Kinder Frogs when she was three months old. I think her favorite event is playing with the hula hoops and dancing with this, the, the musicians and the singers. Uh, she's very, uh, she loves music and loves dancing with her sister. There's uh, you know, much joy to be had with uh, a, a child with Down syndrome. She's such a blessing in our lives. Levia said her initial reaction was denial, but then accepted Madison's disability. She had surgery when she was five weeks old, and at that point, I guess, we decided it's better to be with her than without her. Right. Montez came to the event with his son. He said when he first found out about Madison's disability, he was scared. And then come and find out there is a lot of support groups, um, TCU being one of them. And, and, and you're not alone. You're not alone in this struggle. Event coordinator Lauren Dutterer worked with the PTA at Kinder Frogs and the TCU community to raise awareness about Best Buddies and Down Syndrome. Like we all have something in common and that's for inclusion and that's just something that it goes beyond what your major is, where you're from. We've been exposed to a whole other part of life that we never probably would have been exposed to and uh, that's probably been the most memorable and rewarding part of, of uh, you know, being a part of all of this. Froggy Games not only provided hours of entertainment for the children but also for the volunteers.